Welcome back to Monday Night Walk, everybody. It is the show after Bad Blood. And here we go. Well, Sami Zayn, for some reason, well, I'll tell you exactly what happened. Two nights ago, or last night, excuse me, we uploaded it yesterday. Bad Blood, Sami Zayn took on Drew McIntyre for the Intercontinental Championship. We're going to get to everything that happened at Bad Blood uh, in a second. But Sami, realizing that he probably couldn't beat Drew McIntyre, got a count-out victory. Now, I don't want to throw out accusations, but I feel like he did that. So we could give him a rematch, a fresh start, so we could start over here. And unfortunately, it worked. We are doing it again for the Intercontinental Championship here to kick off Monday Night Walker tonight. And I'm so excited for this, folks. I, I cannot wait. Sami Zayn uh, looking to... <laughs> do what he couldn't do last night and that's put the intercontinental champion away it's kind of unfair for drew mcintyre to have to defend his title here but he is a fighting champion he's okay with this match he wants to have a conclusive ending with Sami Zayn, but it's just a shame that we couldn't do that a couple of nights ago but man oh man has freaking bad blood changed the landscape of money night walker now our next pay-per-view is going to be armageddon just like last year Every title will be on the line, but we're going to have a lot of new champions uh, on that show. Drew McIntyre not being one of them, at least uh, not yet. However, we have a new women's intercontinental champion in Tegan Knox. Tegan Knox was able to win the title. Liv Morgan was not pinned to lose the title. However, the match did end uh, with Tegan Knox on top. The union... I was going to say has all the titles. That's actually not true. We'll get to that in a second. But Tegan Knox has brought a championship to the union as the Women's Intercontinental Championship also. Uh, Kevin Owens is the new hardcore champion. He won the Gauntlet Eliminator match last night, and he will be defending the title actually next against an uh, open challenge opponent. We're restarting the count. If Kevin Owens can defend the title 10 times, he gets a WWE Championship match, and that worked for Roman Reigns, who is the new... WWE Champion Cena could not beat Roman inside Hell in a Cell. Great match, great show. And then the Wolfpack are still the tag team champions, so the Wolfpack uh, still have titles in that faction. But man, oh man, Cena lost his championship. What a show that was. And then, of course, we have a brand new women's champion, Jade Cargill. She'll be in action later tonight against EO Sky uh, of Damage Control. Damage Control now with four members. And Eo's going to try to take on Jay Cargo, hopefully, maybe to get an opportunity at the title. Introducing the challenger from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 212 pounds, Sammy Zayn. And his opponent from Ayr, Scotland, weighing in at 254 pounds, the WWE. Intercontinental Champion, the Scottish Warrior, Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre, man, you can say a lot of things about him, but that man is a fighting champion. He is willing to put his body on the line for all of us, and I appreciate it, man. I really do. Let's see if Drew McIntyre can do it again, just like he tried to do it, Bad Blood. Uh, I'm really upset about that whole countout situation in the first place, but, you know, we got we to gotta work what we got here, folks. Unfortunately, we got to work with what we got. And what we got is a steel cage match for the Intercontinental Championship. One of two championship matches on this show. This and the Hardcore Championship. Uh, here we go. This is a steel cage. I can't believe it. I can't believe we're here. McIntyre, very angry about what happened uh, last night. Tried to open it up immediately with a nasty neck breaker. Couldn't do it. Sami Zayn taking advantage. And look at this. Hooking the leg. Fisherman suplex here from the challenger. And this is exactly what Sami Zayn wanted. He couldn't do this last night. McIntyre was able to catch him with a Claymore, you know, all that good stuff. Air Raid Crash. 
Sammy couldn't do it. He, he didn't have what it took to beat McIntyre last night. So now we're getting a fresh start. And this is exactly what Sami Zayn thought this would uh, this match would go like. Oh man, try to go for a drop into the temple. The champion gets out of the way, but slow to get up to his feet. The damage might have already been done. McIntyre answered with a drop kick of his own here. And we are going back and forth with these kicks. Sammy with a reversal of his own. Kick right to the ribs. Here we go. Dragon suplex. My God. Drew's neck. My, oh my God. Not only that, it might cost him the title. Sammy trying to leave now. He's trying to escape the cage. Oh my God. Drew, you got to stop him. Drew at the buzzer. Stop Sammy from climbing that cage any further. Oh, and look at this. Double axe handle. The challenger does not care. He is trying to win this title by any means necessary. And a kick out by McIntyre. Dude, Drew is in trouble. Zayn is putting a hurting on him. But Drew's not staying down. He's refusing to stay down. But he's got to do something. Zayn has had his number since this bell has rung. Drew with a roll up. And a kick out. Oh. I can't believe what I'm seeing. Sami Zayn is on a different level right now. This dastardly, sniveling asshole is it's trying to... Oh, my God. Blue Thunder Bomb. Wait a minute. And a kick out again. Drew refusing to stay down for a three count. But, man, he might not have a damn choice after what Sami's about to do. Is he going to do it? Oh, my God. He took too long. Sami got too cocky. Sammy got too cocky, but Zayn still trying to get some punishment going. Hits a springboard DDT. This man is trying to win the Intercontinental Championship in the most sneaky way possible, and it's working. McIntyre is getting his ass whooped. Maybe I spoke too soon. He's got Sammy right where he wants him and throws him. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Sammy just won't stay down. Listen, he's a two-time WWE champion for a reason. I'm not going to sit here and say that I'm gonna, I'll be surprised if Sami Zayn wins the title, but like this, we're going to do it like this, Sami climbing. Oh my God, he can't do it again. Drew has stopped him twice now from trying to climb out of the cage. Now this match can end by pinfall or submission, but if both of your feet hit that ground outside of this cage, you will be crowned the Intercontinental Champion. McIntyre looking to retain here, but Sami doing everything he possibly can to take that title home with him. That air raid crash might stop all those plans. Oh my goodness, Drew McIntyre. But look at this, Sammy. Sammy getting up himself. I mean, listen, this is how it works. This is what's gonna happen here, but Sammy not having any of it himself. That can't feel good for Sammy. I'd give him a little taste of his own medicine there, but he was able to stop it just as much. Power bomb off the ropes. And how do we follow that one up? You saw the Haluva kick get reversed. McIntyre, does Sammy have another one in him? Does he have another one? No way. Oh my God, no, instead, hits a German suplex, hoping that that's enough time for McIntyre to stay on this ground so he can climb the cage. Sammy trying to get some insurance strikes here. And they might pay off, look at this. He's putting a whooping on him, and now Sammy Zayn gonna try to climb out of the cage to win the Intercontinental Championship. Oh my God, the champion is still down. Drew is still down. Sammy! Oh my God. Oh my God. Drew, you gotta get up! He's trying! No, not you, Siri, you dumb bitch. Shit, it's Drew McIntyre! He might lose his title right now! Oh my God. Oh my God. Drew's gonna have to be careful. Huh? Oh, what the fuck happened? Oh my God! How the hell did Drew McIntyre take Sammy off of that cage? You've got to be out of your mind. This is too much. Oh, my God. Sammy. Oh! Sammy fell off the cage, but gets right back up. And oh, my God. Oh, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Sammy getting stopped again. It's not going to work like this. A cover from the champion. And a kick out. Dude, what a match. That was the most intense shit I've ever seen. And here we go. No! Drew in for a future shock. Sammy reversed. Hello! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Wait, but Drew...
Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Sammy hit a haluva kick. Drew tried to get up, and he used the rest of the energy that he had left to get up, and Sammy took advantage of it and pinned him. He couldn't kick out. Oh, my God. We have a new Intercontinental Champion. I can't believe my eyes. Wow. Folks, we, I mean, where does Drew go from here? Where does Sammy? What? Oh, my God. I can't, I can't believe what, I'm, what I just watched. I can't believe it. Next week, we're going to determine a number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship. But right now, Sammy gets to bask in the win. We have a, a hardcore championship matchup next. Who the hell is going to answer that? Oh, I can't wait to see another hardcore title match. It's been a minute. Let's do this. Now, in our main event tonight, we're going to have Roman Reigns' WWE Championship celebration. But right now, let's have a hardcore title match. Who is going to answer the open challenge for Kevin Owens' title? I can't believe Kevin Owens is the new hardcore champion, by the way, but I mean, who the hell? Oh, yes. L.A. Knight is back on Monday Night Walker, and he's looking to get the hardcore championship around his waist. I, it's weird to see a championship, a hardcore championship match that's not going to involve Roman Reigns. However, we are here, and we're doing it. L.A. Knight the first challenger for kevin owens of course roman reigns was the last hardcore champion and he used it to get a WWE championship match which he won so th this uh, reign from kevin owens could very well lead to a WWE championship victory for him down the line he was champion at the start of was it this year or was that last year when the hell did matt riddle win the title i think it was this year Kevin Owens won the title on, I believe, January 1st? Maybe it was it was a week early. I don't know. Whatever. But man, yeah, Kevin Owens did start the year off with the WWE Championship. Crazy to see how things played out after that, but my God. Oh, give me a fucking break. Give me a fucking break. Dude, I... We got to see this bullshit every week. Every week. It's too much. You know, it's so damn in love. Speaking of the fucking CWO. How they played out. This, this is how it played out. This is how the CWO has played out. One of the most tenured factions of all time. The most dominant faction in the history of Monday Night Walker and World Walker Entertainment. Is now this. I'm disgusted. But it's, you know, paying off, listen, not only is Bailey a uh, Rumble winner from the number one position and a multiple time women's champion, uh, I believe former Miss Money in the Bank as well. Kevin Owens is a former WWE champion in his own right, Intercontinental champion, tag champion, and now this hardcore championship has solidified Kevin Owens being a Grand Slam champion. I believe he was hardcore champion at some point before, however, he is a Grand Slam champion here on um, World or in World Walker Entertainment. He's going to look to defend this title for the first time against LA Knight. Oh, God. Again, our main event tonight, sort of our main event, Roman Reigns uh, will be having his first WWE Championship celebration after a year-long journey that led to him actually winning the title. I think he's deserved it. So that's going to be the last thing that we see on this show. Um, and, yeah, we got Jade Cargill, who debuted and won the women's title. I still can't believe that. Here we go. Introducing the challenger from Los Angeles, California, weighing in at 241 pounds, LA Knight. And his opponent from Marineville, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 266 pounds, the hardcore champion, Kevin. Okay, here we go. If you don't remember, uh, hardcore championship rules, no disqualifications, no countouts, falls count anywhere. And there must be a winner. Does Bailey get involved here? I mean, she is in the corner of Kevin Owens. 
And I believe it's going to be like this for every hardcore championship match, which is unfortunate. But uh, Bailey legally can put her hands on LA Knight. We'll see if that plays a role at any point uh, in this hardcore championship run for Kevin Owens. It might end tonight. We're going to find out right now. Here we go. Bell rings and Owens with a big boot. You got to give Kevin Owens credit. He's a former WWE champion for a reason. I mean, my goodness, look at this again off the ropes. Oh, man, too many times. Kevin Owens went to the well for that splash. LA Knight taking advantage, calculated him. And here we go. Sidewalk slam for the megastar into the cover. And a kick out. A two count this early into the match is a good sign if your name is LA Knight. But Kevin Owens not letting up whatsoever. He is a fighter, a prize fighter. You see the suplex from the hardcore champion. Doesn't keep LA Knight down for long. Instead, Owens kicked to the gut and a shot to the back. We are really going back and forth here. And we haven't even seen any weapons yet. Owens reversing the Irish whip attempt from LA Knight sends him over the, uh, the top rope. Bailey yet to get involved. I think that's for the best here. And here we go. Kevin Owens grabbing a weapon immediately. What is he? A table? A table? Oh, my God. And Owens right across the face of LA Knight. Follows that up with another splash. Just trying to use all of his body weight to squash LA Knight down onto this floor like a damn bug. It's working, but uh-oh. No reversal from Kevin Owens. Sends LA Knight into the steel steps and sort of onto the table. Owens picking up the megastar here. Looking to retain his hardcore championship by any means necessary, even if it means barely getting physically involved. We haven't needed to get there yet, but because Owens... Is doing a great job of holding LA Knight down, but a reversal might change things here from LA Knight. He's got him up on the shoulders. What the hell is he about to do? Oh my goodness. Well, that rocked Kevin Owens and LA Knight looking like he's about to get a weapon himself. Owens is. What? Is that a microphone? Oh my god. Is that the old. WWE. Oh my god, he's beating Kevin Owens over the damn face with this microphone. You know, is that the old WWE logo? I'm sorry, I gotta look at that for a second. Why are we using th this? is an old logo. What the hell? What are we doing? Or eh, whatever. Um, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Night with a fireman's carry on Kevin Owens. What is he about to do? Oh my God, face first off the apron. Reversal from the champion here. Again, Bailey still yet to play a factor. Not again, we're picking him up like this again, but the barricade's right there. Ellie Nett's got a chill. Oh my goodness, Owens is lucky his leg didn't just get amputated by that barricade. Now listen, Kevin Owens specialized in the stunner. It's going to be hard to kick somebody in the gut to set it up if you don't have a leg to stand on. We say that every time. But people target certain parts of the body for a reason. I'm just trying to make sense of it to you guys. Kevin Owens getting sent into the barricade himself and an axe handle to the ground from LA Knight. Oh, but that doesn't matter, Owens! With a roll-up and LA Knight kicking out almost immediately. This is a man on a mission to win this championship. Bailey can't believe what she's seeing. Oh, but she's going to have to. Knight with a kendo stick in hand. Owens over the top rope. You took too long, damn it. Knight sitting here trying to play baseball. Owens trying to win the hardcore championship back or retain it. My God, a neck breaker reverse from the champion. This is not looking like it's LA Knight's match anymore. But maybe I spoke too soon. The chop to the chest, the kick to the gut, not enough to put Owens down. Instead, Owens picks him up and just drops him onto the barricade. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Not again. Not again. A roll up. Owens, oh, man, the referee might have taken too much time there because Owens was definitely down for a long, old time, but a stunner. A stunner, Bailey's loving it. Referee taking a long time again. Might not matter. Oh my God, it does matter. LA Knight kicked out at one. If the referee was in a better position, it might have been a three count, but LA Knight was able to use that time that the referee took to get some uh, resilience in him and kick out at one. A sledgehammer has been introduced, and then what do you do if you're the champion and your finisher gets reversed at a one count? 
What do you do? You're going to do another one? It's not working. That's why the sledgehammer, I believe, was introduced here to really put a definitive ending to this match. You see the leg being targeted again. Oh, it's not letting it happen, though. Not for a longer period of time. And here we go. Owens walking around the ring. What the hell are we thinking? Going right next to his girl, Bailey, under the ring and pulling out a trash can. Knight's going to have to be a little more careful. Couldn't do it. No, man. Face first off the trash can. Goes LA Knight. Oh, no. Look at the way that can is dented. Off the body of Knight. Oh, man. Into the barricade goes Knight again. This is just getting brutal now, folks. We don't even need... Oh, I was going to say no blood to be shed. But now there's blood being shed. Oh, my God. BFT. Where the fuck did that come from? A BFT and the referee taking another long-ass time. At least she's consistent. Kevin Owens with a kick out. Man, this referee's got to be on the money here. That could have seriously been a three count. I don't want to say she cost LA Knight the title, but man, oh man, here we go. Oh my God. Knight just threw the damn trash can at Kevin Owens' face. That's too much, man. That's too much. These guys are hurt. These guys are tired. They're bruised. They're battered, but they're determined, man. These two want to be hardcore champion. I mean, Kevin Owens already is hardcore champion, but he's trying to keep it. Knight with blood running down his face has not let up on the champion whatsoever. Kevin Owens is still down. What the hell are we doing? We got a ladder? He took a ladder out and then put it down. That's nice. Oh, uh, yeah, and you wasted so much time. Kevin Owens is able to get back up, crank the leg of the challenger. And that might be the beginning of the end for LA Knight. Into the steel steps. Oh, no. Speaking of steel steps, they are now in the hands of the hardcore champion. You want to throw some damn trash cans at me? How about these steel stairs? Knight's back's got to be killing them. And we are not even done. We're not even done yet. Oh, no. Senton from the champion. You got to be kidding me. How much time do you got to waste, Kevin, before it's not enough? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. I mean, listen, I, I, I'm, I'm holding my breath at every roll-up now because Jade Cargill it won the women's championship because of it. She got hit with everything and the kitchen sink in her debut match. Listen, I'm not saying Jade Cargill doesn't deserve to be the women's champion. I'm just shocked because she was so resilient and then just at, at a random point. Rolled up Piper Niven and won the title. The overconfidence of the champion got to her. I don't want the same thing to happen to Kevin Owens. Because that's a, that's a terrible way to lose a championship. LA Knight don't give a damn. Turning them around. Oh, man. Knee to the face. Followed up with a lariat. This could be the beginning of the end for the champion. I was thinking LA Knight was down for the count. But that's clearly not the case. Microphone back in the hand of the megastar. Is he going to throw it at him? No, instead. What the? Oh, my God. How do you let this one happen? Are you kidding me? Oh, God. Mike to the face. I mean, give me a break. Oh, DDT. When is enough going to be enough? How about now? No, never mind. I thought we were going to see a stunner. Owen's biding his time. Trying to make sure that when he wants to end this match, it's going to end, damn it. I don't know, though. I don't know. These two are killing each other. There's freaking weapons everywhere. Oh, my God. Night avoiding disaster with that microphone. He, what the hell? How did you get him up that high? Look at the strength. Oh. Bailey, you might have to step in. Oh, oh, oh LA Knight just threw him right into her. Kind of a middle finger to both of them. Oh, my God. Not again. Not again. This can't happen. Okay. LA Knight with a kick out. And a boot from Owens. How about a stunner? Bailey's loving it. Oh, my goodness. I mean, that's the ultimate way to, you know, make a girl like you. You know what I'm saying? Win a fight. I mean, she's already into him. But I'm sure this is uh, helping a whole lot. Kevin Owens being the one on top in this match. That microphone back into the hand, the first weapon that was introduced into this thing. 
Owens just playing around with it like a damn toy and uses it to bash LA Knight in the face. My God, but Knight, that pissed him off. Boot to the, th wait a minute. Oh, Bailey loving the kick out. Big fan. As that trash can once again gets sent into the ribs of the hardcore champion. We haven't even seen the, the, the ring in a long old time. Oh no! Owens getting out of the way, the knee of LA Knight landing right on the ladder and all oh, well, speak of the damn devil. What is Bailey doing? What is Bailey doing? What does she have in her hand? Well, I don't know what the hell that was, but Owens had an amazing sequence there, and I believe he's going up high. No, LA Knight getting up to his feet. He's taking too much time. Fireman's carry. And LA Knight goes off the ropes. When is enough gonna be enough? Two stunners. All of these weapons, and LA Knight still won't stay down. This match is unbelievable. Oh, oh, what a dodge from Knight. Sidewalk slam once again. Bailey, Bailey doesn't know what to do. She doesn't know what to think. She thought this was over, and it might be, but not in the way that she wants. BFT. Wow. Wow. Two championships have changed hands tonight. Two of them. Damn, I just should have made this fucking bad blood. Give me a break. Two championships have changed hands. I mean, my goodness. If there was another championship on the line tonight, I'd bet on that to change hands. Thank God there's not. But speaking of new champions, the women's champion, Jade Cargill, is going to have her first match on Monday Night Walker ever. The only person to win a championship in their debut, sort of, not except the first episode, I guess, is going to be in action to, right now against EO Sky. Just because Piper Niven's not the champion anymore doesn't mean Damage Control wants to be out of the championship picture. Whether it's Piper or somebody else, they want a chance. EO Sky has yet to have that chance. But maybe beating Jade Cargill will give her that chance. It's Jade Cargill, it's EO Sky, and it is up next. Ladies and gentlemen, I have an announcement to make, uh, and this is this is real. Uh, we were just about to have Jade Cargill versus EO Sky, and we're having that match. However, Jade Cargill just watched not only Sami Zayn beat Drew McIntyre for the Intercontinental Championship, but LA Knight defeat Kevin Owens for the Hardcore Championship. Two legitimate victories that happened relatively clean. And Jade mind you she won the title in her first night ever she does not want to be one of those champions that people look down on she is saying that she doesn't want to be a champion that people can't be proud to cheer for she wants to be a fighting champion and we're keeping up this theme of championship matches and i can't believe i'm about to say this but jade cargill versus eo sky is for the women's championship and it's happening right now let's do it i mean i can't believe how why would she why is she doing that I mean, I, I get it. You want to make a statement, whatever. What? What the fuck does that mean? Okay. Well, that's not what's going on. It's Jade Cargill. What the fuck? This game sucks. Oh my God, this game sucks. Well, there she is, the women's champion. Don't know what the fuck we're talking about there, but whatever. I can't, wow. What a sight to see, dude. Jade Cargill, unbelievable. Her, her debut, mind you, Piper Niven got too cocky, too overconfident, put up her women's championship at Bad Blood in an open challenge, and this woman, Jade Cargill made her debut and won the title. Now, mind you, she won it off a roll-up. I think that's also influencing her decision here. Um, yeah, and I, I, I guess I get it. She wants to be a champion that wins matches definitively. Now, mind you, she got lucky with the roll-up, but I don't know, considering what I saw from her, I don't necessarily think that she doesn't have what it takes to keep this title around her waist. 
We'll see if Io Sky can do it. She is a former women's champion. It's not going to be the easiest thing in the world to do, but man, I didn't think anybody was going to be Piper Niven. Jade Cargill dead. Let's see if she can keep it up by defeating Damage Control Zone, Io Sky. Well, here we go. Eo Sky. Uh, I believe, I think she's the only member of Damage Control to not have a women's championship match against Piper Niven. I believe even Kyrie Shane last week, that match was for the women's championship. Uh, Damage Control now has four members. The union only has three. Hopefully, you know, uh, there's not uh, some more uh, shenanigans between those teams because who the hell is going to, I mean, then they'd be the bad guys. <laughs> you get to jump four on three, you asshole. EO Sky, however, looking to go into this solo against Jade Cargill and walk out with the Women's Championship. I cannot believe this is a championship match, but I guess considering what's happened tonight, this is kind of the only way we should have this episode of Monday Night Walker go down. Next week, we're having a um, number one contenders thing for the Intercontinental Championship. We're going to determine a lot of matches for Armageddon. We don't have any right now. Uh, let's do this. It's for the women's title. I can't believe it. Introducing the challenger from Tokyo, Japan, Io Sky! And her opponent from Vero Beach, Florida, the WWE Women's World Champion, Wow. Wow. Here we go. Title is on the line. Why is she do? I listen. I get it. I, I I explained it a million times. I don't want to do it again. But I just I still can't fathom. You just won, you just debuted. You won the title. Keep it for a little while. I mean, I'm not saying that as a criticism, really, because I respect it. I respect any fighting champion like Jade Cargill is is apparently trying to be. But my God, this is your second match ever. You know what I mean? T chill. I don't know, Jade. Look at this, man, and this is exactly what I was talking about as well, because not only did Jade win because of a roll-up, but she won after getting her ass whooped for about 10 minutes. And EO Scott doing the same thing, DDT from the top rope to Jade Cargill, a kick out at one, and I think that resilience that Jade has is going to carry her to a lot of wins. I don't know about tonight, EO Sky putting the pressure on her. But her resilience is definitely uh, making her championship material. Is that a choke? She just hit a choke slam. Jade Cargill with a choke slam on EO Sky. All right, well, this is a lot better uh, with her offense than it was last night against Piper. Oh, but she's slipping and sliding all over the place. EO Sky had enough time to get up to her feet, but not enough time to reverse the drag here from Cargill. What? Look at this. The champion on a roll, throwing Sky across the ring. Oh, my goodness, a cover by Jade. And a kick out from Io. Jade looking more dominant than she did against Piper Niven last night. But man, Io is a fighter. She's a former women's champion. She's a very dominant compared, probably the, the most dominant woman in damage control. So it's shocking that she hasn't had a women's uh, championship opportunity in a long time here. Jade, oh man. Clothesline follows up with a knee, dude. This is crazy. Oh, man, Neo says to hell with that. Kick right to the face as the champion rolls out of the ring. Sky, oh, man, diving straight to the outside. But Jade continuing to get up. We talk about that resilience. Even if she's been getting her ass whooped, which she is doing right now again. She knows what it's like to, to persevere and get back on top. We just got to wait to see if it happens here. Referee had a three count. We don't want another situation like we did with Sami Zayn last night. Let's get back in the ring and have this championship match end conclusively. But Jade also ignoring the referee's count. These two just brawling out here. Dude. Oh, my God. Well, Eo going to get back in the ring here. Jade, I suggest you do the same. You, 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 we, the only 
reason this is a championship match is because Jade wants to prove that she is a dominant women's champion, that she deserves to hold this title. And you can't do that if you win by count out. So, I mean, appreciate her getting back in there. Irish whip again. Oh man, catches EO Sky. Look at the power on Cargill. I mean, it is undeniable. Oh man, I was gonna say what kind of power Jade has in her. It's just for somebody that has is in their second match is a lot of inexperience. You know what I mean? That's kind of been my whole point here is that she doesn't really know what it's like to be an active competitor here on Monday Night Walker. And she is now the women's champion. We needed to get, uh, uh, you know, some experience, I feel like, before we can really start this championship reign. But Jade wants to defend the title immediately after she wins it. I respect it, but I also don't understand at the same time. She's doing a great job, though, of keeping EO Sky on the ground. Calling for her to get up to her feet. What is she thinking? What the hell? Wait, what? Already? What? Jaden! She hit it! Oh, EO Sky kicking out. Jade can't believe it. I can't believe it. It really only took one to beat Piper Niven last night, but she needed a little more damage as well. This might do it right here. Oh, my goodness. From the top rope to the outside. I mean, listen, if this is the kind of match that we're going to have to look forward to with Jay Cargill as women's champion, I'm so cool with that because she is doing a great job here of keeping the pace with EO in her second match ever. Again, I question the decision, but I understand it. Jade, back up on her feet, says to hell with that. Now let's do, no! I think Jade was going to try to get her back into the ring here, but EO doesn't want to do that. She wants to continue this fight out here. Don't do what I think you're going to do, EO. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh my goodness. Well, is you gonna get back in the ring again now? Or what count are we on? Okay. Oh, this doesn't matter. We're getting thrown back in the ring. I'll just be getting nervous with these championship matches. Um, I'm a little extra nervous right now. EO Sky. Oh my god. A one wait a minute, a one count? What? EO has done a lot of damage to her, and she kicked out at one. Oh, man, but wait, EO. How many times she won a championship match with this? Jay doesn't even look like she's struggling. Oh, my God. Dude, if this, if this woman can't be beat, this is going to be a long championship reign. Holy shit. Jade, top bro can't hit it. Oh, no. We still do not know the extent of what Jade Cargill can take. We have no idea. We haven't seen, you know, her get pinned ever because she only had one fucking match. So there could be a lot of punishment dished out to her. She might still kick out every single time. We don't know what the extent of what she can handle. Eo, looking for a meteor. I think she got it. Jade looks slumped over, but I don't even want, I don't. What, what? Oh no, cover. I thought maybe we'd be looking for the moonsault there, but oh my god, oh my god. Well, maybe I again I spoke too soon. Eel on the top rope. No way. Moonsault. Are we already gonna have a new women's we're gonna have three title changes tonight? Oh my goodness. Wow. EO Sky could very well bring the women's championship to damage control right now. Jay Cargill is hurt. She's still kicking out of damn near everything. Well, no, literally everything. But I can't imagine that it can take much more. I don't know. What is her, what is the limit here? EO trying to drain that stamina from the body of the women's champion. She might have just done it. Oh my God. Oh my God. What the fuck is happening? We have a new. What? 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 Oh my God. Dude, I can't even process the fact that EO Sky is the new women's champion. Jane Cargill just lost the women's championship.
It's done. It's over. And now Chelsea. Oh my God, it's official. Chelsea Green has just cashed in the Money in the Bank conch. I completely forgot that Chelsea Green existed. I forgot she was Miss Money in the Bank. Bronson Reed cashed in months ago and he failed. Oh my God, but Chelsea is the champ is the the, the the briefcase holder maybe that's what mike rome was talking about did he fucking know i don't know but eo sky has to defend the championship she just won this is our fourth championship match of the night are you smoking dick eo looking to just end it now oh my god that's embarrassing chelsea that's fucking embarrassing referee into the position oh no what what? First of all, Jade Cargill heroically defended that title, but it's like, dude. But EO's EO's the new champion. Jade, Car what do we do with Jade Cargill? What's what's gonna happen with her? We still haven't even seen Piper Niven since she lost the title, and now Chelsea Green has cashed in the briefcase. The fuck is going on? Well, I mean, listen, Chelsea's already been hit with a moonsault. She's fresh in this match, so she was able to kick out at one, but can Eo do it? John Cena was able to not only defend against AJ Styles, but also beat Bronson Reed as he cashed in right after that match happened. But I think Chelsea thinks that both of those women are hurt enough for her to cash in on whoever would have won. And now we've, we're in a situation where Chelsea has officially cashed in the Money in the Bank contract but Chelsea's not 100% now. She just hit a Canadian destroyer on EO. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. No fucking way. No way. I can't believe, dude, if we see another championship change, we're going, we might. Oh my God. Oh my God. EO. <gasps> EO Sky with a reversal and a drop kick. Oh my goodness. The, the new champion here with an elbow. Oh my goodness gracious. How hurt is EO Sky? How hurt is Chelsea Green? This is a Money in the Bank cash, and we still have Roman Reigns. And his WWE Championship celebration coming up. Oh, my God. I've never seen EO hit this move so many times in my damn life. Moonsault. The third time or the second time to Chelsea Green to defend the title. Uh, <laughs> um, it's not over. It's not done. Dude, dude, Chelsea, I, I don't, has she won a match ever? Clean? Like, has she pinned somebody clean ever? What the fuck am I watching? This might be the most shocking Monday Night Walker episode of all time. I can't believe what I'm looking at, especially if this ends in the way that it, it could end. I don't fucking know. Chelsea getting thrown into the turnbuckles again as EO. Handspring. Uh-oh. Oh my god mind you folks this is if you're just tuning in this is a women's championship match now don't adjust your fucking screen 24 hours ago we had two completely different women in a world in a women's championship match 24 hours later where there's a, 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 a third women's championship match in 24 hours where it's two completely different women what the fuck is going on how did this happen if Sami Zayn and, and LA Knight didn't do what they did earlier, this wouldn't even be a match. And now we got Chelsea Green's official Money in the Bank cash in, and it could blow up in smoke just like how Bronson Reed's did. But Chelsea back up on her feet, and a bicycle kick, but he'll back up on her feet. Oh my God, goes from behind. A dragon suplex, but that heel is hurt. She's got a lot taken out of her. Oh my God. What the fuck is going on? No way. The show just got out of it like it was nothing? Hello? Well, EO. 
gets hit with a German from the corner. Oh my God. 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 Oh. What is it going to take for either woman here? Meanwhile, oh my God. No fucking way. I, Here's your winner and Miss Money in the Bank, Chelsea Green. Chelsea, Gr Chelsea Green is the new women's champ. What? Oh my God! Also, if I'm not mistaken, I could be. Is this the first successful Miss Money in the Bank cash in? Did was Shayna's? I don't, I don't know. I think Shayna's was actually successful. All right. Fucking. We have to, a lot to talk about next week, by the way. But for now, we got Roman Reigns. We've had four championships change hands tonight. We got Roman Reigns with WWE Championship Celebration up next. Thank God Bronson Reed is not Mr. Money in the Bank anymore, or I'd be very scared. I just, I... Not only did Jade Cargill lose the, what the hell am I looking at? This is not what it's supposed to be happening here. Uh, well, Roman, Re okay. <laughs> you know, folks, fuck this. Fuck this. No, 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 no. Fuck all that. I'm so over this game fucking up the way that it did. I'm so over it. <laughs> I'm so fucking over it. None of that was supposed to happen. None of it. And you know what? Um, four championship changes. Roman Reigns. <laughs> this game fucked up twice, by the way. We're breaking the fourth wall here. It fucked up twice. And I'm so <laughs> over it. So you know what? I'm just going to pretend like that didn't happen. And you know what? Let's all pretend. Hey, chat. Premier, chat in the premiere. Let's all just pretend like no, that didn't happen. And um, Roman Reigns is having his celebration up next. All right. Well, I guess we can't ignore what just happened. Roman Reigns is in the ring. Cody Rhodes. I mean, I didn't want to acknowledge it, but oh my, again? All right. So here's what was going to happen. We were going to have Roman Reigns have a celebration. He was going to have a match. We we're gonna have maybe some pyro. Cody attacked him from behind. And then we were just gonna cut away from it and just kind of move on. And now Cody is back and the referee just threw everything out. He just threw, the referee just threw it out. Now it's fucking nothing. Cody Rhodes after sabotaging fucking every championship match for the last couple of weeks. Or every, every match period. Now he's sabotaging the WWE Championship celebration of the, we haven't seen the belt. We haven't even been able to see Roman Reigns with the belt. Cody Rhodes, after losing that tag team championship match last night, now just ruining the whole fucking episode. We've had four title changes and everything, and he's just, he's just fucking it all up. And now the referee's throwing out the match that we were supposed to have. Completely breaking up what the hell was supposed to happen on this show, and they ruined it. So now Cody Rhodes got some damn explaining to do, because now he can't get the tag team title. Now he thinks he can take on Roman Reigns. It's fucking bullshit. This is so stupid, and I'm, you know, I'm so sick of this episode. What the hell has happened this episode? Too much, too damn much, and I'm over it. We are, we this is it. We're done. We're done. We'll see you next week. Number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship going to be crowned. We're going to have some follow up with Jade Cargill, Io Sky, and Chelsea Green. LA Knight defends the hardcore. I just, it's Sammy Zayn. Oh god. Oh god. We'll see you next week.